Welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. And today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at Playmates Toys. It's the 40th anniversary of those old turtle bros that we know and love. And what better way to celebrate than with an early look at the brand new Amazon exclusive, the Playmates Toys reissue of the Technodrome, the gigantic double-decker mobile fortress. And yes... All that old school artwork is brought back to life on a fairly giant box, I will say. But it's a lot of fun to see this. I never had a Technodrome as a kid. Totally wanted it. Never got it. But now I get to recreate all that enjoyment I'm sure I would have had at that age when collecting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The backside is a glorious mess of all kinds of write-ups, words, what you're looking at in terms of all the little subsections, all the parts and pieces that you will be putting together. And just as an FYI, there is quite a bit to do especially with the stickers. So be prepared. Make sure you section yourself off a little bit of time to put this old technodrome together. But again, all the old diagrams, all the old artwork, everything comes together and congeals to form that old school vintage nature. And like I said, this is an Amazon exclusive and I will put a link down below. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Playmates Toys Amazon exclusive, the reissue Technodrome. Here we go. Right before we get started, I want to show you everything that this play set entails. And there are a ton of parts and pieces to this thing. Not even joking yet. And there's like a thousand stickers to put on. So just be prepared. It's the bane of my existence, those old stickers. But thankfully, there is an instruction booklet. It's very detailed. It will help you out tremendously. Just take your time. But yes, just be prepared. It roughly took me about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I was watching the Netflix Monsters Menendez Brothers show, which is actually pretty good if that's your type of thing. But yeah, it took me a while to put this together. But it was oh so satisfying. And it was a lot of fun. Not the stickers, just to point that out. But yes, make sure you pull everything out of the box, get it all situated, make sure you read over the instruction booklet, you know, where each of the stickers are going. It's pretty straightforward. You should have a blast. And if you're putting this together with your kiddos, they should have a blast as well. But as is something that I've never had before, like I said, it was a lot of fun to finally put together a TMNT Technodrome. So for that alone, that was a great time. Because lo and behold, an hour and 15 minutes later, there you go. The big old eyeball sitting atop the big old domed playset structure that Krang drives around in Dimension X. And I have to say, it's awesome. It's very cool. But there's a big caveat to this thing, just FYI. The stickers all went on fairly easy. I think there was a few instances where I kind of had to go, okay, I guess this is right. I guess this works. Some of them are going to be kind of lopsided. It's just kind of how it goes. There's multiple guns and turrets and twisty knobs and all kinds of things all over this playset. And it really adds to the madness that is those old school Playmates TMNT figures. But Everything fits, everything looks good, everything opens, everything closes. It's very well designed, and like I said, it's a lot of fun to put this together, even though it's very tedious at the same time. Just set yourself some Technodrome time aside, and, and you'll have a great time uh, doing it. In setting this up, though, you have the outside, which is great for display. Not going to dispute that. Right here, this big old black hubcap will plop down. It's got spikes on it and the two sides open up and you flip these little feet pegs down and that'll give you a little bit more structural integrity to start adding the various parts and pieces that are not installed on the playset while it is closed up. You cannot close this thing up with these various pieces adhered to your playset, but it is very self-explanatory once you open it up. And as you can see, it does make for a pretty cool display slash play set for your TMNT. You have Shredder's apartment right here. It's his little window to the outside world for blasting the TMNTs. 
For the old school shredder, now here's the caveat, right? Now I totally expected my shredder to fit in this chair. And he doesn't really fit in this chair. And when I say he doesn't really, he doesn't at all. The old school Playmates toys are very misshapen. Everything's going every which way. But they have downsized this Technodrome. And I think it's about 10 to 15 percent smaller, which will end up offsetting all the characters to properly fit like the old school playsets did. Whatever shredder's sitting here, that's not the shredder I don't think anybody has, and it's definitely not fitting in this. And it's sadly gonna be the same dealio with the mutagen tanning bed that's right underneath Shredder's little mini apartment. There are some movable parts and pieces like this mutagen Uzi thing. Mutagen is sold separately. I'm not gonna dump a bunch of mutagen in this, especially with all those stickers, but much like the shredder, the old school turtles, yeah, I mean, this one kind of fits a whole heck of a lot better, but not really at the same time, especially when moving this around. You're not going to really be able to do a whole heck of a lot with it. If you had more room, then sure. And like I said, if you look at the box, it's kind of fudged in there if we're being honest. But as you move up to the big old black guardrail here with some of these restraints and you got the computer screen with Leonardo on it. Sure, that looks good. You can put all these restraints here if you'd like. You can put two, you can put four. Of course, the restraints are just black plastic. You can also fit them onto the jail bars of the prison. Of course, you can put them anywhere. That's the beauty of a playset, but lo and behold, yes, this does work. You can get Michelangelo restrained in whatever kind of dungeon he is in, and the same thing with the bars. You can get Donatello properly in shackles if you like. So that works, that element does work for restraining the turtles. Putting Shredder on the platform, sure, I guess that works. Putting him front facing, backwards facing, I guess that's fine. That's okay to say the least. When you start looking at all the stickers for the jail parts and pieces, that totally works. That's pretty cool. I love seeing that along with the mutagen ooze spray that goes on the outside of the Technodrome. And you have this spinny whirly bit right here with this old school belt buckle, which totally takes me back. The big problem though is that he's so large and everything is so constrained that you really can't properly spin him because his feet are gonna knock into the bars. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, you could do this or this or this. You can't just put Donatello on there. You have to contort him into a pretzel in order for this to work. And that continues on to the chairs upstairs for potentially putting Bebop and Rocksteady in the blaster area. I love the artwork, the stickers are great. Putting them on, it's not that great, but it's kind of an old school callback to the video games, especially with the targeting computer on it. Shredder, will not fit in that, let alone be and Rocksteady, just telling you now. As we move up, we see the captain's wheel right here. That spins and rotates beautifully. I totally love it. And it also activates the eye, allowing it to move around at your leisure. It also has one other important function and feature, but more on that in just a few. But like I said, with the jail, you have a trap door right here, which, hey, that's pretty cool, it leads into the jail, and then you have the bars, which you can open and close. I totally like that. Again, it's kind of cramped, but there seems to be a lot more room for at least play feature, display feature within the jail cell. When you wanna have a Ninja Turtle up top on the trap door, it works, kinda, sorta, he will fall through. So thankfully, that is achieved, but doing so is, again, kind of cramped, but resetting the trap door, closing the jail doors, not a problem. And with everything so far in this Technodrome, this is the main feature that I particularly like. Now, as we make our way over to Krang's side of the apartment complex, we have his little area with a little standy where you can put your playmates, Krang, if you'd so choose. You also have this red disc and it's sectioned off. It looks like it would be something that would open or close in the cartoon. It's just a flat red plastic piece. You could take it out, you can leave it in. It doesn't really do much. What it exactly is for, you got me on that. But if you have your old Playmates Krang figure with the hole in the bottom and you ever wondered why he had that, well, that's to install him onto this 
pedestal, which because it's a little off in the whole size department, it kind of works and kind of doesn't. He does situate, but it's not great. But there are areas for his bubble walker if you want to put it off to the side. It's kind of a choose your own adventure and as a display, it looks okay, especially if you have his Android body or like I said, the bubble walker off to the side. Sure, that can totally work. Down here, you have ammo alive and a skull and a no and well, that's just wacky dude, but hey, that's totally some 80s, 90s TMNT action. You could put weapons, you could put anything you want in these. And for that alone, that makes for a nice display, if I do says so's myself. But lo and behold, on the front with this little section right here, this opens, followed by the foot door that opens. So you can put your characters in, you can take your characters out. Do they exactly fit? It's kind of up in the air which characters you want to use in this little subsection. On the other side, we have the big old door, which you can fold down and crush your Ninja Turtles if you so desire. But unfortunately, you're going to have to kind of original Castle Grayskull these turtles inside this Technodrome chute if you have any chance of getting them in there in any proper way. But lo and behold, I am happy to say that the main part, the main show is still intact for this Technodrome reissued playset. And as we come up here to the big old red eye itself and you come over to this captain's wheel and twisting it around, moving it around, it also serves a second function. So you're gonna flop this piece down right here and essentially make a big old Technodrome ramp. And as you can kind of see what we're aiming at here, you got the four turtle bros minding their own business. You grab the captain's wheel, you're simply gonna pull down and that old big red eye is gonna roll like a bowling ball and take them all out and it is glorious. So again, I'm happy to say that totally is intact. It totally works. It's a lot of fun. I did this probably 10 to 15 times, showed everyone absolutely love it. And kind of, sort of, you look at the artwork on the box. Well, I would say it's a 50-50 split in terms of recreating the artwork, right? So you can have all the turtles, you got Shredder popping out, you got Bebop kind of, sort of just sitting there. He's not going to be able to hold those weapons on the side anytime soon. But it's not exactly great. And that to me is one of the big bummers of this reissued playset. Is it great in how it displays? Heck yeah. In utilizing it for play over display? No, I don't think that's gonna work for a lot of you. Now there is a caveat to this whole caveat with the remastered TMNT figures, having the updated articulation, being a little bit smaller in some sense. Yes, yeah, surprisingly, these will work rather well with this Technodrome playset. Again, they're not perfect, but they are a little bit more manageable when applying all the turtles with the Technodrome. And not in all areas, let's just say, once they get to Shredder, maybe you see Bebop, Rocksteady, maybe I'll change my mind, but not in every aspect. And no, the NECA TMNT, the Super 7 TMNT, entirely too large. Do they look good display with it? Sure, heck yeah, that'll totally work. But this is gonna be the funniest part here. Let me just mark my words. You know those old Super 7 reaction figures that everyone doesn't collect? Well, I have a few of them, and it works gloriously. The reaction 3.75 inch TMNT figures beautifully work with this Playmates Toys reissue Technodrome. Everything works. All the characters fit, whether they're on the spinny disc or shackled or thrown in jail or you got Mutagen Man kind of running the whole jail system. It looks awesome. <laughs> and I am shocked that this works. Even Krang and Chrome Dome, that looks really cool. All the weird weapons. Yeah, they, it all works really nicely. You got Bebop and Rocksteady and their command stations. You got Slash on the captain's wheel. If you're looking for a cool display Ninja Turtle set to go with this reissued Technodrome, 
Look no further than Super 7's 3.75 inch TMNT reactions. There's also another option, of course, if you have the Super Impulse Turtles, which are the little teeny tiny turtles, or if you have the Hot Wheels Party Wagon. <laughs> No, you're not going to be able to do much with this. But again, in terms of display, this is the closest thing to the actual size in many ways. So you can use these as well. So that's going to wrap it up for my early look at the brand new Playmates Toys 2024 Tectodrome reissue playsets. And the big question, will I recommend this set? Well, no, actually, I won't recommend it on a couple of things. The box art shows that you could definitely use it with all these various old school Playmates toys, turtles, reissues or otherwise. And you really can't. They are entirely too small for a lot of the functions. So if you're buying this for a kiddo and they had every intention of properly playing with this, no, that's not going to happen. If you have the old school Technodrome, the original, you're safe. Take good care of it, because that one is definitely the superior Technodrome. If you were planning on buying this for various parts and pieces you've lost over the years, I don't think it's going to work out for you all too great, unfortunately. However, for those of you who have never had a Technodrome, much like myself, I still love this thing, but it's not functional for a lot of the ways that you would like to display. It's great to display closed up. It is great to display. If you just want to have a Technodrome, you can fudge the characters in there. Is it a huge big deal? No. But in terms of selling a product, advertising a product as a certain way, and then it doesn't really do the thing it's supposed to do, then no, you can't honestly tell people, go out and buy it. There are a lot of people out there that will want it just to have it. You never had a Technodrome, that whole lot. And for that alone, sure, that's totally fine. But keep everything I said in mind when you do go and grab it. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Technodrome, and I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, hopefully they learn from this. If they ever get around to reissuing the original turtle layer, they make it the original size. However, that may not link up directly with this Technodrome, and it creates problems, you know what I'm saying there. Hopefully they'll figure something out. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.